What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Keto Connect Kitchen. We have a very delicious recipe on the horizon. Probably going to be my new favorite recipe because it's a chicken salad, but fajita style. So we're actually going to cook down a bunch of onions and peppers, use some fajita seasoning and some chicken and get that all delicious and like fajita style. And then we're going to turn it into a chicken salad. I know it's crazy, but you're going to want to make this in bulk prep. I promise you. So let's get started. We are going to slice up some red onion, green bell pepper, and red bell pepper. So we are gonna do about half. You can see that we have our cooked chicken already here. So that's the size we're gonna go with with the rest of our veggies as well. So our onion is looking good. Now let's get our pepper. Have you ever seen them like do the professional cut? Yeah. That's really hard. And then we're gonna do about half of each pepper. Okay, so we have our onions and bell peppers chopped up and we have a medium skillet heating to medium heat. And there's also some fat already down in it. We have about a tablespoon of ghee. So I'm just gonna add the veggies to the hot skillet. And we're gonna saute these for about eight to 10 minutes. We wanna get them nice and tender fajita style. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes and I'm gonna say this is looking good because I personally want some bite to my veggies still. Now we are going to add in our chicken and our fajita seasonings. So since the chicken is cooked, it's only gonna be a couple minutes. We just wanna heat everything through and that's about just under two cups of cooked chicken. So you can either cook your own um, and add it straight to this, or you could get a rotisserie chicken and chop that up. That's what we did here. That's gonna just save you some time, be convenient. Our chicken's added in, let's get our seasoning. So we're gonna do some garlic. That's a lot, but it's okay, that happens. We're gonna do a little splash of cayenne, just a little kick, chili powder, a good dosing of chili powder. So chili powder isn't as spicy um, as you may think because the word chili is in it. Cayenne powder is really the spicy one. And then we have some cumin. I like a lot of cumin, personally. Oh, you can smell that, it smells good. And then of course we need a nice dose of salt. So that's as simple as it gets, seasoning wise. So once you have everything sauteed together, heated through and mixed as we have here, we're just gonna pull it off the heat. We're gonna add this back to a bowl. And then we are gonna pop this in the fridge for about 30 minutes. We want this to cool before we mix in the mayo and get the real fajita chicken salad formed. So we'll be back in 30 once this has chilled. All right guys, we're back with our fajita chicken salad and it's been about an hour actually. So this is definitely very chilled, which is perfect. So we're gonna add this to a larger bowl. And then we just have three more ingredients to finish this off. We're gonna be adding half a cup of mayo. So this is the mayo I like to have on hand. It's made with avocado oil, which is what I prefer. So avocado oil or a coconut oil based mayo is gonna be your best bet, your healthiest bet. And if you wanna know all the ingredients that we personally use, we have a list on our website. You can check out ketoconnect.net. I'm gonna add half a cup of mayo. Juice of half a lime. We're gonna do some dried cilantro. Some fresh cilantro would probably be best, but this is what we have on hand. All that we do is mix. I feel like I can read Matt's mind right now and he's probably like, this looks disgusting, but I assure you it's gonna taste fabulous. May not be pretty, but that's not what matters, right? So we just made chicken salad took it up a notch and made it fajita style by like doing a lot of other preparation. But I think, and I know the payoff's gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna give this a taste test. Ideally, this would chill for about another hour to two hours. So you're eating it cold out of the fridge, but we don't have time for that. So I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah. I mean, do I even need to describe how good it is? I mean, the mayo just takes on the fajita flavor. You got the tender chicken, you got the bite of the onion and the pepper, and they're still really rich in flavor. This is phenomenal. I feel like this is something that I will probably end up making on a weekly basis. Great for meal prep. Just so refreshing and unexpectedly light considering it is a chicken salad, but I think the fresh seasonings and the fresh veggies really give it that nice touch. So linked below is the blog post. 
exact ingredients, exact way to make this if you wanna make this at home. Definitely share it on Instagram. Let us know that you made it and that you love it. And you can also check out our food blog, ketoconnect.net. We have a ton of recipes. Summer's coming up. I think this is one you should add to the list. So definitely make this keto fajita chicken salad. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.